I've known Carlos Tortolero for nearly 40 years. He uh, actually was a high school teacher of mine. So we've grown from a student-teacher relationship to a mentor relationship to now as actually as a colleague. Pre-Carlos Tortolero, there wasn't anyone out there taking the baton and taking charge and leading us to another level of arts appreciation in the Latino community. Almost 30 years ago, he had an idea that what Chicago needed was a space for Latino artists to come together and for the Latino community to see itself reflected somewhere. And today, it is the only accredited Latino museum in the nation. It's done some incredibly important exhibitions. And that's all because Carlos put currency in his own ideas. He's always raised the sights on what he wants his community to understand about their own heritage, but also what everyone in the city should, should know about that community. It's a very important community that's contributed a lot, and he alone is uh, one of the greatest contributors. He's a star. I don't think he's necessarily interested in it being by, for, and about Mexicans. He's also about introducing Mexicanidad, or Mexicanness, if you will, to the broader audience, and so people can get to know Mexican Chicago or Mexican culture generally, and I think um, that's a really important goal and objective to have in mind and to be grounded in when you do the work that the museum does. Carlos has pushed the envelope on what arts uh, means in the city of Chicago. He made sure that the funders, foundations, corporation, government understood that there was a community beyond uh, what traditionally was being funded in the arts and that the Latino had a role to play in this landscape.